So now in this video, we're going to look at the uh, NPN bipolar junction transistor. I'm using a 2N2222A right there. It is wired as a switch. We give a, a little bit of uh, base current right there, and it turns the LED on. I have a 1,000 ohm resistor there, so the LED is not very bright. It's a red LED, and because uh, we're going to raise the voltage. We have 5 volts at the supply right there. So the thing that we're going to look at, I have this wired properly right now. I have the emitter to ground right there, and uh, the collector is towards the more positive side of the supply. That is where the load goes. So you can put up to, according to the data sheet, 30 volts if it's just a 2N2222 right there. And we're talking about in the TO92 package, this uh, little plastic transistor there. And uh, you can put uh, 40 volts difference from collector to emitter. It will stay off with the 2N2222A. And here you can see if we put the transistor in backwards, so the middle pin is the base, it's easy to know if you have the right uh, pin to the base or not. But sometimes you confuse collector and emitter. That can happen. So if you put it in backwards, like you see here, emitter, with the uh, five volts, which I have right now, it uh, should still work uh, normally. You shouldn't notice a difference. Maybe it's bad for the transistor, I don't know. But in any case, it should work uh, normally. But as we raise the voltage, and uh, we'll see in this uh, video, at uh, 12 volts, all of a sudden the LED uh, turns on, even though I have the jumper in the off position, which is to ground. I have to put it to the positive supply. We'll do 5 volts and above to get the transistor to turn on, except for in this circuit when it's backwards, then it's not going to stay off when it would if we put the transistor in the proper direction. So now zooming in, we have the uh, 2N2222A right there. Emitter, base collector, because flat side is to the right. As we already saw, it uh, works. Now we will turn this around, and now the emitter is on top. Flat side to the left now. So emitter on top. Again, it looks like it's working the same. And for all intents and purposes, it is working the same right now. So we'll zoom back, and I got current limited to 20 milliamps, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. We're going to work our way up, and you're going to see that um, at 12 volts, all of a sudden, the LED uh, kicks on. we got about 2 uh, milliamps of current going there. So it'll go up as we raise the voltage, since it's a 1,000 ohm resistor. For each volt we raise it, a little more current's going to flow through. So now let's go back to the uh, 12 volts there. We have this set in the off position right there. We can also turn it on there. You can see it goes up more. But the thing is it should be off. The LED should not be lit up. So I'm going to turn this around. And it was a tiny bit warm. Didn't hurt at all, but I always remember transistor could be very hot. So there we go. We got 12 volts, and I feel confident just to jump up to a 30 volts right there. It is still off. I'm not going to light the LED at that voltage, though, because of the 1,000 ohm resistor. I intend to light it with about 12 volts as a transistor switch. So the LED is dropping about 2 volts, leaving about 10 volts across the resistor out of that 12, and uh, we got 10 milliamps, which we expect, so now it is working properly. 